cup. Why are you doing that for? Do any of you have a cat that does this? I don't think there's any other cat in the world that does this without realizing it like him. <laughs> it's not what we feed him because she never does it. Okay, why does your brother do that for him? I know, Cake. I think it's weird, too. Come. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. He's been that way for several minutes. Oh. Oh, no. Is it over? Okay, it's over. He's back to normal. Good job, Cup. I know, Cake. I think it's weird, too. I know. Hey, guys. Ellie here. Today, I am with my two kitties at my mom's house, Cup and Cake. On the right over here, you have Cup, the boy. And then on the left, right here, you have Cake, the girl. They are kind of dozing off to sleep and... I think this is super adorable, so I wanted to get a quick video of just them cuddled up to each other. It's nice to see, considering most of the time they're hissing at each other and chasing each other around the house. I'll be downstairs watching TV or doing something, and I'll hear a bunch of racket upstairs. It sounds like an earthquake hit, but I know it's just my cats just being little maniacs. <laughs> um, but I, I do love seeing them when I come here, along with my mom and my stepdad, of course. Um, I don't know. I think I've told Cup and Cake's story before, but that was a really long time ago, probably in, I'm guessing, May or April 2020, so we're approaching two years, so for those of you that have joined ever since then, which is probably the majority of you watching right now, I'll go ahead and tell their story again really quickly. So we go back to 2014. I was at my dad's house one weekend, and there were some kittens that had just recently been born. Uh, there were four of them, so they were quadruplets. And two of those four were cup and cake. Um, they didn't stand out from the others at the time. There were three white kittens and one black one. So kind of an interesting, which, interesting dynamic there. Cup and cake were two of the three white ones. And, you know... We've always had pets on the farm at my dad's house. Not to the magnitude that it is now with the sanctuary, of course. Not even close, but little barn cats, boxers, maybe two or three goats, stuff like that. And I didn't have any pets at my mom's house. No dogs, no cats, no nothing. And I guess my mom and I kind of decided together that we wanted, we wanted a cat. We wanted a cat for our house. And my dad said, yes, we could take one of the kittens. So on Sundays back then, my dad would meet my mom at a Walmart and he would drop me off and my mom would take me home so I could take a shower and get ready for bed and go to school the next day, Monday. So one of those Sundays when the cats were about eight weeks old, my dad brought all four of them in the car with me so that when my mom and RP met to pick me up they could see which one we wanted to bring home kind of just get to know them see their personalities and whatnot so we got to the walmart or wherever it was and they were looking at the cats and <laughs> one of them one of the white ones was like buried in a corner behind one of the seats like it, it must have thought that just because it can't see us we can't see it even though we could see its butt pointing right at us and so it was very antisocial, so we were like, eh, not that one. One of the other white ones and the black one, they were sort of just average in demeanor and personality. So they were like, yeah, that's cool. But one of the white ones just stood out. One of the white ones came right up to you, was nudging against you, and was just super lovable. And if y'all know either of these two cats' personalities, then y'all can predict that the one I'm referring to was Cup. It was definitely my chubby cup right here. <laughs> and 
And so my mom and I decided that, yeah, this is the one that we want. So we got Cup and we went ahead and put him in our car. But at some point we were thinking to ourselves, like, you know what? I don't want Cup to be alone. I know cats don't always require a companion animal like guinea pigs and other animals, bunnies and stuff do. But I just feel like it'd be better for the cat to have a playmate, one of its brothers or sisters, while we're at work or at school. And my mom was like, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. So we wanted to get a second one to take with us because they were willing to take one. So having just one more extra one, having two is not that much more big of a deal as far as cleaning up litter and things like that. And so obviously that other white one was out of the question. So it was between the third white one who was pretty friendly and then the black one. And I don't remember how, but we ended up choosing the other white one, which is Cake. She doesn't look white anymore. Neither of them do, but Cup still is some white. Cake has absolutely no white on her at all, it looks like. But I'm going to put some pictures on the screen of Cup and Cake when they were little. We still have some pictures of them when they were itty bitty. This is in like April or May 2014, mind you. So a very, very long time ago. And we brought them home and they've lived here ever since. How they got their names. RP, my stepdad, actually named Cup because when I was telling him the story about my dad and I's car ride to the Walmart, I talked about how three of them were kind of pooping themselves and how they were meowing and really scared. But this one right here was the only one that was calm and was silent and it wasn't pooping itself because it was, I guess, scared or whatever. And RP goes, you know what? We should name it CUP, because CUP, the acronym for CUP could be cool under pressure or calm under pressure. I've always been into sports, so any sort of sports acronym or something I thought was the coolest thing ever. And I was like, CUP, that's a cool name. He's CUP. And then for her, cake just kind of goes together with CUP, like cupcake. So she got the name cake, and that would be CUP and cake story. They're sweet. They're so sweet. Cake only weighs about 7 or 8 pounds. And Cup weighs 15 or 16. Both of those measurements were, or both of those weights were um, calculated a long time ago at a vet trip, maybe two or three years back. So who knows how much has changed since then. Cake probably hasn't changed her weight at all since then, but Cup's probably gained a little bit, as you can tell. So Cup's probably in the 17 to 18 pound range, I'm guessing. Just look at it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, Cup, I love you, buddy. You're a silly guy, Cup. But yeah, guys, that is Cup and Cake's story. As far as their personalities go, Cake loves to chatter. Cake is a very chattery kitten. She, when I call her name and if she's like excited, she'll meow back to me like crazy. Both, both of them are very, very talkative. Cup will meow like a normal cat, but cake chatters. And so let me show you a video of what I mean by chattering. Cup. Not you. Cup. Cup. What? Look how blue your eyes are. The sun makes your eyes look so, so, so blue. What? What's the matter? Isn't that weird? It's like raccoon noises. Cake's like a raccoon. She looks kind of like a raccoon, so maybe she's part raccoon deep down inside somewhere. The way that some humans tell me that it, back in their ancestry, there's like a little bit of German or a little bit of Native American and stuff, even though they may not look like it. Cake probably has some raccoon way back there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But... With that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.